my channel, Adventures with Amira. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I promised this for you guys when I did my life update video about all the stuff we've had going on during the last few months. So let me go on and get into it. First, they have a lot of new cute craft items in that I've never seen before. So one of the things they got in were these little wood chips. They're called wood stems. I think these are so pretty. And if you have crystals or any like little trinkets you like to display, like I have tiny little crystals and things, I think these would be so pretty to use them as a display. I've already thought of tons of things I could make out of this. If you're doing a woodland themed like birthday party, you could use these as like little fairy stools or something like that to do a table setting. If you're doing any type of like farmhouse decor, I feel like you could use them for that or like a woodland wedding too. I've seen weddings where they use things like this, but I think they're pretty. I don't know what type of wood this is. It looks almost like birch, but really pretty. And then they also had these wood stems, totally different. I was thinking like you could do like a little bird house out of something like this to use this as the like little stems for the birds to sit on like a bird feeder or something like that. I also got some more of these white stones. I've talked about these before. They're really pretty to use in different plants, like the top of the plants, if you don't want it to just look like the black soil. So I use them for a lot of different decoration things in my house. I also picked up some more of these bamboo wind chimes. We've used these quite a few times before. They don't last forever just because with the severe rain that we get here in Florida, they tend to fall apart eventually. But I just love the way they sound, so I always pick up some when they have them in the Dollar Tree. I picked up some new little gardening gloves for my daughter and I. I thought these were super cute. I picked up these two little things here. They're like for office stuff, but I want to use this for my daughter. Sometimes we're looking at crafting videos and whatnot online, and you can lean an iPad or an iPhone here. It's like a little stand for that, and then this is just for little trinkets. My favorite color is purple anyway, but my daughter's favorite color is purple now too. I picked up some of this cotton twine. This is good to use when you're tying plants up. I have quite a few climbing vines I've been using, as well as for different crafts and things. One of the things that I was able to find at Dollar Tree that kept being sold out everywhere were these party napkins. And we normally buy the big packs of white napkins from Dollar Tree. They kind of have like a little heart print on them. They're like a hundred in a pack or something like that, or maybe even more, but they were sold out for months. But whenever I would go to the birthday party section, they always had just regular napkins. And these are 30 in a pack. Sometimes I would just use half of them at a time, like if the kids wanted like a little waffle or just to have a snack on instead of a paper plate. But this is where we were able to find napkins during this whole thing. They always seem to have napkins at Dollar Tree. I also got these beautiful gift bags, and these are so pretty to me. I mean, you know I love a damask print anyway, but with the purple, I thought they were gorgeous. I got some business shipping labels. I got some more scotch tape. I love this scotch transparent tape. It works really well. And my daughter and I somehow go through tape. I used to blame it on her and I realized I think it's both of us. We just use tape for so much different stuff when we're crafting and whatever. So I, I swear I need this at least once a month, a double pack. I got these beautiful thank you cards. I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. I got a few packs of these. These are Expressions by Hallmark. It says on the back they were originally $3.89. But I love this print. It says thank you on the front and then they're blank on the inside. The only toiletry item I bought this time was this bikini shave gel for sensitive skin. It says compare to bikini zone anti-bump shave gel. If you know anything about it or you like it or didn't like it, let me know in the comments. But I thought I'd give it a shot. Food items, they don't normally make it to my hauls because I swear as soon as I walk in the door with snacks, there are hands coming from just everybody's just grabbing snacks. Probably because we don't go out that much. So, but this is the one thing that I grab for myself because if and when we ever travel again, this is the travel creamer I always take with me if we go on a Disney cruise or we just go to a hotel or something as long as it has a refrigerator or even you could keep an ice bucket in the room. But I like this one and so I normally bring this with me. Actually, I bring this to Disney too because they don't normally have flavored creamers. And I make my own coffee in the room. I either bring my own little tea kettle in my luggage and I just plug it in and make my own coffee. And then I always like to have my own cream. These, I guess, maybe are kind of like toiletries, but not exactly. But I bought these little ready-to-use roll-on Aroma Guru essential oils. And this one is called Muscle Ease Essential Oil Blend. It's a blend of wintergreen, eucalyptus, peppermint, ginger, black pepper, 
turmeric and nutmeg and they have a picture of somebody using it for their back on here but I like the smell of it it doesn't break my skin out and it actually just has the actual essential oils in it mixed with almond oil and that's it no other weird chemicals or strange ingredients or water or alcohol or none of that stuff just essential oils and sweet almond oil which I use all the time for different stuff anyway so that doesn't bother me but these are really good deals because even to make this oil yourself, especially with the oil blend that's in here, it would cost quite a bit more than this, even without the roll-on containers. Peppermint one I've talked about many times before because my daughter gets motion sick sometimes in the car, so do I, and peppermint, you can use peppermint candy, but sometimes just the smell of peppermint can help you if you have motion sickness. I normally always have this with me on a plane. I take this on trips, you know, just for like if we're driving in the car or maybe you're on a bus or a subway or and there's like strange smells. I have one of these like in our little bag with us, my purse or something, just to kind of put this on and just kind of calm your nerves or if you're having anxiety for some reason, peppermint is very good for that too. So the fact that they have these at the Dollar Tree is awesome. Same thing with this one. It's just two ingredients on this though. It's just peppermint oil and sweet almond oil great deal. I also got these gorgeous ribbons. You know, I love purple. And so, and my sister, one of my sisters loves purple and now my daughter too. So I like to keep different gift supplies on hand. But this one is gorgeous. I don't know if it picks this up on camera, but this flips back and forth between a blue, like a turquoise blue and a purple in the light. Almost like a greenish iridescence to it too in certain light. It's very mermaidy. That's what it reminded me of. If you're doing any mermaid themed little parties this is gorgeous my niece just had her birthday this past week i'm so sad she had to have like a little birthday party just at home it was just her and her mom and dad that's what a lot of people around here are doing too but they'll do like a birthday sign in the front yard or graduation sign for their kids and my niece had a little party party with bubble guppies and i was thinking how cute this would be because it looks kind of like an under the sea <laughs> type theme they also had this one in pink it may look white to you on camera. I don't know how this is gonna pick up, but it flips back and forth between a pink and a white, kind of like a duochrome, but I think these are so pretty. Now let's talk about candles. They had some of the prettiest candles and some of the best smelling candles this time. I was really shocked. I didn't have long in there, but I was just walking that way to get something else and I saw all this stuff, so I was just kind of grabbing stuff. But they had these beautiful candle holders here the whole four pack was only a dollar, so I think that's a great deal. And I got them to go with these lemon and lavender little tea light candles. I think they'll fit in there pretty well. They'll probably just stick right above the top, and then as they melt, they'll be perfect. But you know you can use these little glass dishes for so many different things. You could use them for parties, like to keep toothpicks in, for like little incense. You can use them to keep your little crystals in. I like to use stuff like this when I'm doing tablescapes but I got them for these candles for this thing because I want to do like a candlescape. Have you guys ever seen that show, The Good Witch, on Hallmark Channel? <laughs> she always has these tablescapes. It's like a family show. It's really sweet and like just a nice, there's like never any cursing or anything like that in that show. But for some reason, she always has these gorgeous candlescapes going on in this show. And I'm like, oh, I love these purple and blue candles and stuff. So that's what I had in mind when I saw these candles. I was like, ooh, this will be a beautiful tablescape. So I got these and then I got a few of these matching purple candles like in this size. And this is also the lemon and lavender. It doesn't have a really strong smell to it. It's mostly lavender. And then I got just a plain white candle. This one is unscented. We're going into hurricane season, so honestly, you can never have too many candles around here anyway. And then I got this blue one. It's called Coastal Breeze. That smells really nice. You know why I like this candle? It reminds me of Disney. I cannot remember. It's one of the rides that you go on, but I swear it smells similar to this. And when I smelled it, I was like, well, that just reminds me of Disney, so I need to get it. My daughter thought the same thing when I let her smell it, but I like this shade of blue. I think it'll lend itself well with the candlescape I'm working on. And then they had these really interesting candles here that have this like geometric shape to them. That's really pretty. It's all these different little triangles. And they had these in pink and white and maybe one other color. Now I'm thinking I should have got more than one of these, but these are so pretty and they don't have a smell. I guess they're just unscented, but 
I thought these were gorgeous. Then I got this little candle. It says Driftwood and Sage. And it's like a duochrome. It's kind of a pinkish, whitish color. I don't know if you can see that. But that a really pretty pink one there too. But it was rose scented. And artificial rose scents give me the worst headache on the planet. And the name of this is called Moonshine Dust. I can definitely smell a top note of baby powder. I get this from working at Estee Lauder because I had to know all the, the perfumes and if you know Lauder they have tons of different perfumes they carry. We had to know all the top notes, the bend notes, we had to go to a whole school for it. So I can smell the top note of baby powder but there's also like a floral in here as well. Florals give me headaches sometimes but I think it's pretty even if I don't like it. I like the, <laughs> the little candle thing that it came in the container so I went ahead and picked that one up. The pink one, though, smells so much like roses just getting near it, it was giving me a headache. Like, I wouldn't even have to burn it, just the smell of it gave me a headache. Then I found these three candles, and I think these are such a good deal for the money. They actually have a good throw to them to be such a small candle. They really give off a lot of scent, especially if you use it in a smaller area, but I've used it in my foyer and it's a two-story foyer and even when you come in the foyer sometimes especially with the lemon one it'll smell like that whole area so you can smell it from upstairs too so these actually are very good one of my favorite candles they've ever made from bath and body works is a limoncello candle and this one actually smells similar but almost a little bit better this smells more like lemon chiffon pie it just smells like heaven to me. I don't know. I think because my grandma used to make um, lemon pound cakes in the summers whenever I would go stay with her. If you're a southern person, well, I don't know if that's just a southern thing, but you probably know what I'm talking about. I feel like everybody's grandma made bunt cakes and <laughs> lemon pound cakes and stuff, and we would make our own little frosting to put over it, and that's what this reminds me of. It smells amazing. Then they have this butter pecan one, or pecan as some people say, but I'm a Georgia girl, so I say pecans. <laughs> Just like I say caramel instead of caramel. I don't know. It smells really good, but not as much like pecans to me. It smells more like, you guys have ever eaten Divinity? Oh, Divinity is so good. If you know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment down below. I made it once, a long time ago in Colorado. I just had a craving for something from back home. I didn't even know how to make divinity. I didn't have a candy thermometer. You have to heat up the sugar and do all this kind of stuff. But it turned out really well. I had a friend there from Louisiana. And my husband and I, we, we ate that whole batch of divinity, I think, in one night. It was so good. But that's kind of what this smells like. Mm. I need to make some more. But you have to have the right humidity conditions to make divinity or it doesn't turn out right. It can go from like light and fluffy and powdery to like goo. I have this one is gingerbread chai. And interestingly, I never saw this at Christmas. So I don't know if it was maybe in different stores and then we just finally got it. <laughs> it smells like the pumpkin spice lattes that they have at Starbucks in the fall. So this is a quintessential fall scent. It smells amazing. I have a Bath and Body Works candle in almost this exact same scent and I think it's called sweet cinnamon pumpkin or pumpkin marshmallow maybe probably the sweet cinnamon one I think I have <laughs> all the Bath and Body Work candles that they come out with in the fall and that's exactly what this smells like and like I said the throw on these is really good and you get to keep a mason jar when you're done which I really like these mason jars so I think these are great and finally I got this crown chakra candle it's in my favorite color, purple, and it says for cosmic energy and bliss. It's a soy blend scented candle. And this reminds me of Disney too, but for an interesting reason. It reminds me of Spice Road, the Marrakesh or Moroccan restaurant that they have. And there's like a little incense place right outside and it smells just like that to me. Whatever incense they're burning in Disney in those sections, the Middle Eastern section over Morocco, they have several little gift shops in there. And that's what this reminds me of. So that I had to just get it. <laughs> My daughter wasn't as impressed with it as I was. But they have a bunch of these different little chakra candles, which I think are so cool. Like if you are doing different chakra work or whatever. Which, speaking of, 
So, you know, I started, well, you might not know. If you didn't watch my last update video, you don't know that I've started acupuncture and my daughter too, just for different issues. And it's helping so much. Acupuncture is a type of Eastern medicine. Instead of just doing medicines and stuff for your ailments, they kind of do energy work with your body to try to help you heal yourself, which I'm all for that. I don't like taking a lot of medicines. I'm already diabetic. I'll take enough as it is. But they do different chakra work, and I thought it was so funny because I have this little crystal chakra set of crystals that hang downstairs. I bought it for my daughter's room, but we ended up just putting it downstairs. And sometimes it makes rainbows in this whole area, and every time little Dotson goes and lays in that little area of rainbows, and it's the cutest thing. And I keep, I keep telling my daughter we're joking about it that um, Galaxy's our little dog, that Galaxy's over there getting his chakras balanced or something. For all I know, dogs probably know more than we do about some things, but it's so cute. He always wants to go lay in that pile of rainbows. Now, he doesn't lay in that section just for sun or anything. He goes to a different area, but whenever that crystal is lit up with rainbows, he just goes right over there, and that's where he is. I'll leave a picture of that, too. It's the cutest thing. All right, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I look forward to talking with you guys. Tell me what you're finding at your Dollar Tree, and I'll be doing some more videos for you guys soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.